What you're looking at here is a 1980 GE C400 Crime Fighter fixture. And what we're going to do, since it's been converted to mercury vapor, is bring it back to its sodium heritage with a Sylvania Unilux retrofit 360 watt lamp. So this is made for mercury ballast to convert to a slightly less power draw hypergy sodium lamp. It has pretty much the same lumens as your typical uh, 400 watt uh, HPS lamp and it just runs on a mercury bulb or mercury ballast. It doesn't need an igniter or anything which is pretty cool. So they even have them for a uh, 1000 watt but I guess they never made one for 700 which is interesting or maybe if they did it's no long, it's not listed on this box. So I've never fired this up before so I thought it'd be kind of cool to use it in here since it is a crime fire and it kind of needs to be sodium. So I have actually never seen a Unilux or any kind of retrofit lamp turn on. At least to my knowledge. I don't think we have any of these in service anywhere around me. So this will be pretty cool to see, I think. So go ahead. I hear that it's supposed to be like red on startup or something. So guess we're gonna find out. It is indeed a little bit red on startup. Kind of looks like low pressure sodium right now. Kind of fascinating, honestly. That looks a bit more proper there, although I did love, I do love the mercury look to that, uh, it had the mercury lamp in it, that was pretty awesome, but this is definitely what I think of when I think of a crime fighter. Yeah, this is more proper, but I really love the way it looked in mercury vapor. That was pretty cool. But this right here is the authentic experience. That was a really interesting startup. There was zero of the typical kind of white and bluish colored phases you'd get in a uh, standard HPS lamp made before, I guess, 2019 or 2018 or something like that. Whenever they started really lowering the mercury content in these bulbs because now new HPS lamps are rather boring. They kind of stay orange from start to finish. There was no there's no phases like older ones that go clear mercury colored then kind of go to more of a DX mercury and then finally go orange. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Definitely the way that it should be experienced normally. Yes. 
The full Chicago experience. There you go. For those who are actually from Chicago, this is a definitely a familiar sight. Um, back just a few years ago. All right, well, it's uh, definitely reached full brightness now. And uh, it's quite bright, of course, but that's expected. It is a 400 watt sodium after all, technically speaking, anyway. So, this is definitely an attractive thing for some places that didn't feel the need to either reballast or um, replace the whole fixture for sodium. The only downside, of course, is that if you have a 400 watt mercury fixture and you don't want it to be brighter than what it already was, you couldn't use these lamps because they are the brightness of 400 watt sodium while drawing 40 less watts. So that's probably why a lot of places didn't use these um, because it still has to operate within the parameters of the ballast it's on. Similar to my metal halide retrofit lamps I have which are 330 watt and while they are lower wattage they're still much brighter than the standard uh, mercury lamps would be. Of course they're not made to retrofit mercury vapor but uh, any metal halide mercury ballast can run them anyway so that could be interchanged. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off now because it has reached full brightness so now we get to see the uh, crime fighter in its actual uh, factory glory, so to speak, even though it still has a mercury ballast within. So uh, that was uh, pretty neat. Something I've never seen before because I've never been to Chicago, so I didn't get a chance to see these installed in their actual uh, places because I didn't uh, get to go there when I was younger. So yeah, pretty cool. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Till next time.